Uh, welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing about CRISPR-Cas9 technology. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to study about the various computational resources uh, for CRISPR-Cas uh, technology platform. Uh, you know that CRISPR array contains uh, repeat sequences which are separated by a series of specific spacer sequences which are short pieces of DNA that originate from and uh, match the corresponding parts of viral DNA called protospaces. Uh, you also know that the signature repeat spacer architecture of CRISPR arrays was first described by Isino et al. in 18, uh, 1987. And then uh, uh, Francisco Mozica uh, also reported about them. And since the beginning, computational biology has played a crucial role in the discovery of CRISPR systems as well as in the generation of initial functional hypothesis. Uh, Mojica used the power of bioinformatics to show that CRISPR arrays were not only present in E. coli, uh, but also in most archaeal and many bacterial genomes. Uh, it was the power of bioinformatics and uh, bioinformatic analysis again which revealed that the CRISPR loci spaces have similarity to bacteriophages and this led to the discovery that CRISPR-Cas system like the acquired immune system. Uh, this background note is being uh, discussed just to give an idea that bioinformatics is a very important uh, tool uh, in the discovery as well as progress of CRISPR-Cas uh, technology. So, we have uh, many CRISPR-Cas bioinformatics uh, resources uh, developed and each one of them uh, serve uh, different uh, purposes. Uh, for example, in case of uh, CRISPR a CAS uh, system uh, discovery or prediction. Uh, we have uh, CRISPR finder uh, and uh, CRISPR CAS finder, Piler CR, CRISPR recognition tool, uh, CRISPR detect and, and so on. We have also many databases which have been built up by various researchers and which help us further in CRISPR and CAS uh, research uh, and uh, development of tools. So, some of these uh, databases are CRISPR-DB and CRISPR-CASDB and uh, CRISPR-1 uh, CRISPR and then uh, there are other uh, tools, uh, bioinformatic tools which helps us in the classification of CRISPR-Cas system and once a system is CRISPR-Cas system itself and uh, CRISPR map. Then there are uh, workers who have uh, developed tools which help us in the uh, prediction of uh, PAM as well as in the identification of uh, targets. Uh, one of the important thing in uh, CRISPR-Cas9 technology is the development of the guide RNA and uh, we have discussed uh, in brief uh, how uh, the various uh, features uh, of uh, the guide RNA may help us in uh, mobilizing the Cas9 uh, to the target site. So, uh, guide RNA design is a very important uh, step. Uh, in, in this uh, CRISPR-Cas9 technology and various researchers have developed um, numerous uh, bioinformatics tools like eCRISP, ChopChop, uh, CRISPR-ERA, CRISPR and GuideScan uh, to help in the CRISPR RNA or uh, ASIGAR RNA guide design. So, uh, uh, if uh, you are interested to know more about uh, these uh, various tools and softwares and online platforms, you can refer to this article by Omer in Methods, uh, which has uh, many uh, important uh, details. So, you now know that uh, various computational tools have been uh, proposed to recognize the CRISPR arrays uh, using uh, sequence uh, information. Uh, one of the earliest tools that was used for recognizing CRISPR array uh, is PETSCAN, but this was developed much before uh, CRISPR Cas system was applied in uh, gene editing and uh, these patch can searches for the fragments homologous to the predefined uh, pattern uh, and it was not uh, designed to detect uh, specific uh, CRISPR repeats, it was designed to detect only uh, general repeats and therefore it was unable to distinguish the spacers and uh, repeats in a uh, CRISPR array. So, uh, patch can was not a very uh, efficient tool uh, as regards uh, CRISPR uh, array uh, scanning. 
And to address us uh, problems, uh, several CRISPR specific uh, tools were developed. Uh, some of them are uh, CRISPR Feinler uh, by Grisai et al. Then we have uh, Pilar Sear by Elgar. Then CRISPR recognition tool or CRT uh, by Blant. Uh, the CRISPR Finder is based on the principle of using the suffix tree based algorithm to find the maximal repeats uh, that are claimed by the non repeating sequences with a similar length. While Pilar Sear is based on the alignment matrix to identify putative CRISPR arrays uh, through searching local hits of the query genome to itself and uses uh, sequence similarity, conservation and the length distribution to refine them. And in contrast to these CRISPR finder and Pilar Sear, a uh, CRISPR recognition tool uh, do not rely on any central data structure, but adopts the strategy of simple sequential scanning. And these enables a high execution speed independent of the number of repeats in the given uh, genome. There is another tool called CRISP, uh, CRISPR detect, which is based on KMR an extension strategy. Uh, it utilizes the features of CRISPR loci, especially the mutations and is more sensitive to sort and degenerated repeats by scanning for the variant repeats under a low identity threshold in long spaces. Uh, but it uh, incidentally brings the possibility of wrong segmentation of the large integral uh, CRISPRs. So, as you will uh, you can observe uh, various tools have uh, various operating uh, principles uh, based on which uh, they are uh, designed and some of them have certain advantages and some of them have uh, certain uh, disadvantages. Uh, you can see here uh, the details of the five basic tools for identifying uh, CRISPR array uh, like PET scan, CRISPR finder, Pilar Sear, CRT, uh, CRISPR detect which we uh, discussed uh, ju just now. And you can see the advantages uh, listed against each of them and the disadvantages. And one interesting thing is what is the input that is uh, taken up or received by these um, bioinformatics tools um, uh, also varies. In certain cases like PET scan it takes uh, both DNA and protein sequences, but in other cases uh, CRISPR finder, Pilar, CRT it only accepts. Uh, DNA sequences as uh, input. And the output is uh, also uh, varying. For example, in PET scan the output is uh, repeat sequences. Uh, in, in CRISPR finder, uh, we have both the repeat and spacer sequences. As already discussed, PET scan was never intended or never designed to be used specifically for CRISPR. So, it is unable to uh, uh, predict or you know uh, give the output of the spacer sequence and that is the reason why the other tools were uh, developed. A pilot here uh, it gives repeat and spacer sequences as output and apart from that it also clusters by similarity and uh, position. Uh, CRT gives repeat and spacer sequences. Uh, CRISPR detect apart from giving the repeat spacers it also offers information about the mutations and also the potential uh, cas genes. Uh, most of these are available as uh, um, web server programs, uh, but uh, Pilar CR and CRT these are available only as uh, stand alone uh, programs. And you can see the uh, web address uh, for downloading all these tools. So, uh, you can download some of these tools and uh, start working on them. I will not go into the details of these uh, advantages and uh, uh, disadvantages. Uh, you can refer to these uh, paper source by Zhang et al in Frontier uh, Oncology and uh, there you can uh, study about the various advantages and uh, disadvantages offered by each and every uh, program. Based on these advantages and disadvantages, you can take a decision which tool would be suitable for your type of uh, application as well as uh, your availability of uh, web connectivity. If you do not have web connectivity, uh, you can uh, download the standalone uh, program and, and, and use it as such. Uh, there are certain uh, uh, important strategies uh, which I adopted for single guide uh, RNA design and the two main uh, criteria for CRISPR-Cas genome editing are 
efficiency and uh, specificity. Efficiency measures how well a single guide RNA targets a specific sequence and guides a Cas enzyme to edit the targeted sequences. It is usually expressed as a percentage of cells uh, which I edited. Specificity means whether the CRISPR-Cas editing events are unique or not and whether they cause uh, off target effects. Many factors influencing CRISPR-Cas genome editing efficiency and specificity are considered in single guide RNA design. The affinity of the ribonucleoproteins uh, complex to the targeted DNA sequences is determined by the sequence complementary of SDRNAs and uh, DNAs. Uh, to systematically characterize, characterize the relationship between uh, SGRNA features and cleavage efficiency, Zhang and uh, co-workers assessed more than 700 single guide RNA variants and over 100 potential target sites in human cells. And uh, from the analysis, uh, they suggested that the total number, position and distribution of missed mast uh, bases were crucial to determine the cleavage activity of CRISPR-Cas9 targets. They also told that a mismatch single base uh, located in the protospatter motifs uh, proximal region is more sensitive than the palm distal uh, counterparts. Different binding sites uh, resulted in significant differences in cleavage efficiency and specificity among uh, different organisms. Uh, several web accessible databases have been establishing, established by collecting SGRNA data from large scale CRISPR-Cas experiments. Uh, based on the analysis, these databases not only provide practical resources for SGRNA selection, but also reveal the key factors that affect SGRNA efficacy and specificity, which would facilitate the further optimization of SGRNA design. Different binding sites resulted in significant differences in cleavage efficacy and specificity among different organisms. Several web accessible databases have been established by collecting uh, SGRNA data from large scale CRISPR-Cas experiments. Based on the analysis, these databases not only provide practical resources for SGRNA selection, but also reveal the key factors that affect SGRNA efficacy and specificity, which would facilitate the further optimization of SGRNA design. Effect of nucleotide composition and location on SGRNA design. The nucleotide composition of a SGRNA, particularly GC content, is essential to determine its efficiency and specificity. One of the most important applications of CRISPR-Cas tools is to perform whole genome screening of gene function analysis, which also provides useful information for determining SGRNA nucleotide preferences. Based on analyzing the data of around 1900 uh, SGRNAs designed for targeting endogenous mouse and human genes, uh, Deutsch and colleagues developed a predictive model named uh, Rule Set 1, which is based on SGRNA sequence features to clarify general rules for designing highly active SGRNAs. Uh, Donch and his colleagues found that the GC content of a SGRNA did not display a positive correlation with the SGRNA activity in genome editing, but high and low GC contents of SGRNA led to less efficient uh, genome uh, editing. A similar rule was also identified in performing genome scale functional screens using human cells and geographies. Uh, additionally, several large scale data sets suggest that the type of nucleobase is important for SGRNA activity. The nucleobase at the position 20 uh, located immediately upstream of palm is a key determinant. One is was highly favorable whereas cytosine was strongly unfavorable. In contrast, the position 16 the last nucleotide of the seed region uh, preferred cytosine over uh, guanine. Theoretically, the transcription of SGRNA relies on RNA polymerase 3 that recognizes uracil rich sequences uh, for termination. The uracil rich sequence structure might lead to early termination of SGRNAs and then impair expression. Thus, SGRNA sequences with thymine rich nucleobases are not favorable at their 3' end region. Uh, it's additionally, adenine is preferable in the middle of a SGRNA, whereas cytosine has negative effects at uh, position 3. SGRNA stability in vivo plays a critical role in determining SGRNA activity. The formation of a guanine quadruplex structure, which contains at least 8 guanines, can significantly increase SGRNA stability. 
Additionally, several sequence features were identified by statistical analysis of the most efficient SGRNAs such as the guanine enrichment in the region of positions 1 to 14, cytosine enrichment between the positions 15 to 18 and thymidine and adenine depleted overall except the positions uh, 9 and 10. Given the hypothesis that SGRNA activity could be influenced by several other features such as uh, position independent nucleotides, the location of the target sites in the gene and the thermodynamic properties of a SGRNA. Uh, the rule set 1 predictive model was further improved by integrating new prediction algorithms and generated rule set 2. The rule sets 1 and 2 were widely implemented in many uh, web based uh, tools and computational tools uh, for designing SGRNAs uh, including chop chop, CRISPR, GPP, SGRNA designer and eCRISP. It has been suggested that both sequence composition and locus accessibility are important to determine SGRNA activity which subsequently influence the SGRNA design tools uh, such as in the case of SGRNA uh, scorer. There are over 40 commonly used uh, guide RNA uh, designers which fall into one of the uh, following genres. Uh, the first genre is the pattern recognition genre. The tools in this uh, genre depend on the base pairing rule to determine the gRNAs. The second is the Fisher rule genre. Here a set of features such as GC content, mismatch and gRNA transcription method is used to filter out the unreliable or unconcerned gRNAs obtained by uh, pattern recognition. The third genre is the machine learning genre uh, where machine learning algorithms are applied to integrate the effects of the features and thus more precisely identify the gRNAs. Let us uh, uh, see how the pattern recognition uh, genre works. It, it rely on base pairing uh, principle. Uh, tools in this category serves for a piece of sequence comprising a short palm and around 20 base pair candidate guide RNA which is complementary to the query sequence in a specified genome. The fewer mismatches the candidate gRNA has, the greater on target possibility it likely produces. The specific PAM uh, should be predefined for its diversity in different uh, CRISPR uh, Cas uh, system. Another factor which influence uh, gRNA pattern uh, is the uh, transcription method based on which the pattern recognition genre uh, functions. Uh, here uh, U6 and T7 promoters uh, respectively require G and GG at 5 prime end of uh, gRNA. Some tools such as uh, CRISPR seq and fly CRISPR uh, take it into account while others such as SS finder and ZT scan uh, do not. Besides for individual studies uh, CRISP a flask is able to improve the accuracy by incorporating user supplied somatic mutation data into pattern uh, matching. Let us discuss about the feature rule uh, genre. The subsequent finding that uh, editing activities vary across different target sites indicates the inherent disparity of some targets in the sensitivity uh, to cleavage and thus assess a series of explorations to seek out the key features that influence the targeting efficacy and these features include number one GC content of uh, gRNAs, uh, frequency of frame shift uh, mutations. Then third is the poly T sequences which is a typical terminator for gRNA transcription. Then fourth is the compositions of nucleobases involved in cast binding uh, preference. Fifth is the exon uh, position and uh, 60s the status of the motif and feature and wrist uh, 10 to 12 nucleotide proximal to palm in spacer sequences uh, dubbed the uh, seed uh, region. Tools under the feature rule genre always integrate several measurable features with the basic pattern recognition approach to provide more information about candidate gRNAs and target sites. Uh, users can lay down their own rules to filter out the gRNAs with poor reliability or of no interest according to feature indexes and the corresponding uh, thresholds. Uh, for example, cast designer list putative gRNAs along with 
GC proportions and out of frame scores that indicate the frequency of in frame uh, mutations. Uh, besides CRISPR error constructs, a simple scoring rule by arbitrarily quantifying and weighing the information of GC content, quality motifs and uh, target uh, locations. Tools falling within the ambit of uh, feature genre uh, rule uh, provide separate assessment or arbitrary combinations for multiple features rather than perform an integrative analysis on their interactive contributions which may perplex users about how to balance the probably discordant results of multiple features. To address these shortcomings, uh, machine learning algorithms were seen as uh, promising uh, solutions. Under the <coughs> machine learning genre, given that the weights of multiple features remain uncertain, researchers resort to mathematical algorithms that systematically integrate features for refining optimal gRNA. These models always differ uh, in algorithms and information in training data. Uh, for example, we have discussed about uh, Don Settle and the rule set 1. Uh, they observed the depletion rates of gRNAs targeting cell surface markers in mouse and human cells and attributed them to the intrinsic nucleotide composition of target sequences, uh, which then acted as, as training data to construct the logistic regression classifier for gRNA activity prediction. So, here you have in this figure uh, the gRNAs and then the features are extracted and based on these uh, a classification uh, takes place and the probable candidates are selected as gRNA while the remaining are left out as uh, candidates which are not uh, gRNAs and these are the output. Combining the changes in expression of cell surface uh, markers and drug resistant pathways uh, which falls under rule set 1 and rule set 2 respectively, it is trained by the information of not only nucleated composition but also secondary structure of uh, gRNAs and the relative uh, location of target sites to the transcription start site. Uh, so, would improved uh, performances. Uh, in contrast to the above methods which use phenotypic changes to measure activity, some others relying on mutations detected by uh, sequencing were also proposed. Uh, for example, we have uh, CRISPR scan, then we have sgRNA score, uh, scorers, then we have uh, TASCAN. For full details on these uh, methods you can refer to um, these articles in Nature Methods, ACS Synthetic Biology and uh, CRISPR Journal. So, let us uh, study in brief what are these uh, CRISPR scan, sgRNA scorers and TASCAN. CRISPR scan here a linear regression model investigated the effect of nucleotide composition on CRISPR Cas9 efficacy by taking the gRNA induced mutation rates of target sequences in Jabrafis embryos as the signal of activity. sgRNA scorers based on the support vector machine used similar training data from sequencing uh, mutation rates of the targets in human uh, HAC uh, 293 T cells. Task can reanalyze the published data and improve the prediction performed by adding the features of flanking target regions and replacing the algorithm with a random forest. There is possibility of uh, potential biases due to manual selection of features in above mentioned tools uh, based on the conventional machine learning algorithm. Uh, recent tools based on deep learning algorithm minimize the biases by automating uh, feature extraction. In this regard, deep CRISPR is particularly noteworthy for unifying both on target and off target predictions into one framework and additionally allowing for epigenetic features despite using phenotype uh, uh, driven data. For further information, uh, kindly uh, consult this article in uh, genome uh, biology. Although in silico gRNA designers experience a uh, positive evolution, the performances of machine learning to uh, machine learning based tools remain difficult to maintain due to the varying features across different species and Cas enzyme requiring an exclusive loading process. Therefore, 
Researchers are recommended to use the tools based on feature rules if their data are not eligible for the machine learning uh, algorithm. GRNA designers also have other distinguishable specialties which endow the tools with distinctive ability in particular fields and thus give users more choices for their specific purposes such as one the one step customization of uh, paired GRNA for large fragment deletion, number two special consideration for CRISPR activation or interference, number three the application platform and number four off target uh, prediction. Few commercial tools are also helpful for their uh, visual interface online consultation and one stop ordering service such as Syntego based on Azimut algorithm and IDT based on their own evaluation algorithm. However, as most of the commercial tools were designed for the most popular CRISPR-Cas9 system, they provide uh, less support for other types of uh, CRISPR uh, systems. So, we see that no any single tool can, uh, tool can be perfect, uh, fully perfect. Uh, the preconditions and anticipated purposes uh, should be fully thought before the GRNA uh, designer uh, is uh, selected for one's work. One of the important aspect of uh, CRISPR-Cas9 tools is uh, the off target uh, reduction. So, therefore, the off target uh, prediction is uh, very, very uh, important. Traditional uh, sort sequence alignment tools uh, such as Barrow's Wheeler alignment tool and Bowtie have been used to predict potential off uh, target sites. Uh, given that BWA and Bowtie are originally designed for aligning sort DNA rates uh, to large reference genomes, there are several innate defects for predicting off target effects using these tools. For instance, CRISPR Cas has been suggested to tolerate more mismatches than traditional BWA or Bowtie alignments allows. Nucleotide positions are important uh, for target specificity and altered PAM may also be uh, recognized by CRISPR Cas9. Uh, to predict off target sites uh, more accurately, several computational models uh, have been built uh, based on large amounts of experimental data. After evaluating more than 100 predicted genoming off target loci in two human embryonic kidney cell lines, uh, several rules are proposed to minimize off target effects. Like number one, the potential of target sequences should not be followed by a palm with either a, a 5 prime NGG or 5 prime NAG uh, sequences. Number two, the minimum mismatches between single guide RNA and potential off target sites should be limited about to three nucleotides. And number three, at least two mismatches are better in the proximal uh, palm region. These rules have been implemented in their specificity score tool uh, termed MIT which has subsequently been implemented in uh, web accessible applications such as ChopChop -Chop and uh, CRISPR. These shows the timeline uh, of the development progress of the original off target uh, scoring system. Uh, the dashed line, uh, the dashed and the seal boxes represent uh, the handcraft and machine learning based uh, scoring systems uh, uh, respectively. So, uh, in 200, uh, 2013 you can see the MIT board uh, which is now uh, discontinued. Uh, here the off target source was the sequencing uh, uh, MISEC data and the features are percent activity and mismatch uh, position and uh, it do not have any genome wide aggregation and it is available uh, in the web server. Uh, CCTOP is not available in web server, it is a uh, st standalone program, so is uh, CFD as well as uh, Elevation of course available both as a web server and a standalone program. Uh, CRIS plus is only available as a standalone program and so is Lean's deep learning model while uh, CRISTA random forest is available both as a web server and standalone. And all. The others are available over the web interface. So, uh, the whole idea of presenting this uh, development of the uh, various tools over time is that to show the diversity and the uh, continuous effort by researchers. Uh, so, you have uh, so many of them uh, continuously being developed over the years 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And uh, the latest, uh, of course, uh, as shown in this figure is 
uh, Chris uh, Flass. So, here uh, sequencing is used as used in the MIT board. Uh, feature is that mismatch number position and somatic mutations uh, are displayed and uh, in, in a Lean's deep learning model uh, here the sequencing uh, is guide sequence ST, uh, ZTS and BLAST data is used. A feature of course, uh, these are not uh, specific. So, uh, in Krista you can see the mismatch number, uh, position, types, pump types, DNA enthalpy, chromatin, accessibility, nucleotide composition, uh, DNA geometry, so many uh, things are being considered at the same time. Uh, typically, the most convenient in silico strategy uh, for off target risk evaluation is to align the sort gRNA sequence sometime with pumps to reference genome to detect mismatch number and position by repurposing the element uh, alignment tools. Uh, however, sort read aligners likely induce a large proportion of false negative errors due to their minimum allowable mismatches. When mismatch number exceeds 2 in a certain read, the accuracy of aligners get reduced uh, drastically. The comparison between the uh, gold standard which is the guide sec and the alignment strategy reveal that numerous high mismatch off targets and even one mismatch off target cannot be detected by only alignment. The limited mismatches are hard to represent the authentic off targets and may cause false positives. An experiment based on site sec which found that the alignment based off targets largely outnumbered the validated off targets by up to uh, tenfold. So, to reduce the errors and realize the quantitative evaluation on off target possibility, some features and scoring systems are incorporated into the uh, prediction programs. Uh, for example, in CCTOP and uh, CropIt uh, respectively, uh, incorporate seed region and DNA's sensitive region with mismatch number to grade the potential off target sites using handcraft rules. Uh, furthermore, mismatches with a few extra bases where we have a DNA bulge or missing base, where we have a RNA bulge in target sequences were once reported to be uh, tolerable. Cosmit lists the number of bulges rather than incorporates it into the scoring rule for the lack of experimentally uh, validated data. Despite the additional features in the above tools, the off target sourcing method used in them continued to rely on alignment uh, strategy which is not as reliable as the sequencing based off target source used in uh, following tools. By introducing the mutated gRNAs into cells and measuring the gRNA abundance to quantify the off target activities, CFD active exhibited more dominant power and has been widely repurposed in other tools such as CRISPR local guide scan and GPP. SGRNA uh, designer. In contrast to the MIT uh, broad algorithm whose scans area confines to 20 base pair sequences, CFD covers PAM as it found non canonical PAMs tend to induce potential off target events. Although CFD only aggregates the off targets within a certain gene rather than a genome wide scale, its superior performance by comparison with experimental data has been proven by uh, researchers. Uh, the prediction of off target uh, is uh, very important uh, because of safety and toxicity uh, concerns. So, uh, to make CRISPR Castine a better technology, uh, there is uh, scope of developing uh, better tools uh, which can give us uh, accurate uh, off target uh, sourcing and uh, predictions. So, thank you. Uh, we will continue our discussion about the various CRISPR CAS bioinformatics resources uh, in the uh, part B of this uh, lecture. Mm -hmm.